Dear Diary, Today is Monday. It's the 26th of August. And it's 2.28 p.m. And it's 46 degrees outside. Yeah, kind of crazy how we went from a decent weather to a completely scorching heat. That literally goes into the 30s and 40s. Oh well, but honestly, that is not really my huge problem anymore. <sighs> so, you could be wondering, how the hell did yesterday go? Well, um, once again, I was literally trying my best to sleep as much as I can. I'm trying my best to get myself alive with a few more of these falsy daydream and once again don't really have any good dreams and literally I have been literally I have found that new sound farm which was a Neo Geo Pocket sound farm and decided to not just remix only a few songs. I was literally decided to go for a fucking bakery full song. You know? Like literally, got a lot of midis and tested the sound phone on, on it and made a shitload of and put a shitload of them pretty much throughout the whole day. And of course, I had to be sitting outside in the frickin' living room listening to my brother's absolute constant annoying noise and his unnecessary bullshit. And looking at mom while she literally works her ass off like an idiot without asking for help. And looking at my other brother while he literally just goes around and does almost everything without any repercussions. At this point it was a pretty regular day. Like, honestly I could have been awakened and literally been playing some PlayStation 4. I uh, played some freaking PlayStation 5. But thanks to the fact that my mom has just decided to put it away like a fucking bitch she is. I can't even have that. And at this point I can't even finish Yakuza 6. And no, I cannot play Yakuza on a freaking keyboard control. Cause believe me, I know how much of a pain in the ass it would be. So I wouldn't even bother with that. Plus I've been used to that so... Hello. Aside of all of that, the day actually went quite smoothly. And I was slowly, you know, recovering from most of the sadness and pressure that I've been getting in the past four days. And I found myself not thinking a bit too much about it. But then again, not really doing a bit any more better. So, you know. Like, I have shit tons of gains and shit tons of emulations. And a freaking GTA San Andreas. And yet, I literally don't play on it. Like, I've got this very good Saturn and Android emulator. Yet I don't fucking play on it. I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to do at this point. Guess I could start playing on the freaking laptop for a bit. And maybe continue working on this little voice patch thing that I've been working on. But I don't know if that would work. I don't know. 
if I'm like I could be reminded a little bit on the time that this entire situation has started. Meanwhile, the the rest of the day has actually went pretty smoothly, you know. No bullshit, no stupidities, no kinds of freaking ridiculous stuff, you know. Um, and literally continued remixing stuff, continued on, continued on setting all the stuff that I do, literally uploaded to Discord. Yeah. I know that these are remixes that should be uploaded onto YouTube or anything, but I'm gonna be real. Uh, if YouTube is not going to let me upload what is what are especially the most rare shit that you could ever find in terms of remixes and whatsoever, with remixes and whatsoever, then fuck all that shit, bro. Like, just dump it all to Discord. And then eventually at night, I literally went outside with mom. It was literally, so that she could literally do another fucking shopping spree. And at first, I tried to mm, take it normally, you know. Like, literally, while I was talking, I was having a little bit of a daydream of a Sailor Moon thing. Yes, while I was walking with my mom. And it was kind of an interesting story where I s- where somehow or at one, some point, you know, I buy a black cat that is well, quite close enough to be a Luna, you know. Then an unexpected thing happens. Literally, Luna just, you know, just talking with like, with like, Maja. Yeah. That's how, that's how they would literally, you know, call my name. And by my surprise, and of course, I would to be surprised that literally Luna would be talking to me in a daydream while walking with mom in a fucking shopping center. And the whole thing is that I'm is that I'm the I'm the Millennium Knight that is that is supposed to be restoring the Sailor Moon timeline to how it was by pretty much redoing almost all of the you know almost all of the important freaking Sailor Moon events like the first Sailor Moon fight with Mogra and almost all the way to saving Hotaru and the entire Sailor Scouts are dead and the city of Tokyo don't, don't have any Sailor Scouts anymore and so on in a daydream I even got to I even got to fix a broken you know, fix a damaged timeline from the Sailor Moon S movie, which was Hearts on Ice. And of course, and you know at that dream me and Luna were good friends at this point. Even more good friends cause I knew how Luna literally felt during that, uh, during that movie. But 
then I was beginning to feel tired and completely forgotten all about the like, freaking daydream. And I was like, and I was literally thinking like, God damn it. Let's just go the fuck home, please. Stop looking at everything around you, please. Because like, literally, shopping walks like this are a pain in the fucking ass, you know? Eventually, we were, eventually we got back home with the stuff that we bought and everything. And eventually, and well, got back home, eventually settled down, and continued on to my stuff. Along with role plays that would pretty much be coming from one person. And honestly, as much as I really don't care this much about role plays anymore, but uh, at the very least, I was to be distracted for quite a bit. Although, I was more distracted by the remaining of the remixes that I was to be doing, especially Neo Geo Pocket remixes of the of some tracks that were never made on the official Sonic Pocket Adventure. Yeah, I was like, believe me, I want to upload some of these onto YouTube, but I literally can't risk getting fucking copyright striked or claimed. Until, until someone on Discord literally told me you should just upload this stuff on a website like like a OneDrive or a Google Drive or Mega. And at this point, I haven't really thought of all of this yet. I haven't really, haven't really thought of all of this before. But at this point, it's quite late for this kind of idea because... I've never really, never really made something like that for people to, at least people from my work. Although, I wouldn't even go this far because I'm not that good. Especially as other people who literally remix most of the, most of the chiptune remixes with trackers. And let me tell you. People that use trackers have more freaking privilege. Because to use trackers, you gotta be in knowledge with mass. Yes. Creating chiptune remixes on trackers requires mass knowledge. Now that's a whole lot. Now that's a lot of damage. Oh well, not that it matters much, honestly I wouldn't be listening to them, because I would just continue uploading shit on Discord. And again, I'm not that, not that important, so that to put stuff on Discord, I mean to put stuff on a separate website. Well, in any case, but in any case, the day actually went pretty smoothly. No, no troubles, no bullshit. Aside from the fact that I've had to literally go outside with mom to that shopping, otherwise, there would have been a fucking repetition of uh, literally two days ago. And. Frankly, at this point, I would just literally agree with whatever the fuck they would want to do, so I do not get put into any more of these loops where I literally get fucking 
talk and uh, blame to death. Like, really, I can't just risk it. I can't just risk it anymore. Yeah, you can't, you can't even reject like a normal person. So, uh, yeah. It is fucked. It is that fucked up. And at this point, I'm not, I kind of not even allowed to have a private moment anymore. Because I was having way too much private moments and too much relaxing moments on the bed, but come the fuck on, man. You know that, you know that people literally can fucking recover with this shit, and yet they just don't want to accept it. I mean, they took the fucking PS5 away, bruh. Like, they took away the PS5, bruh. The one thing that was literally my reason to get the hell outside. Like, what in the ass-cracked fuck do they expect me to do? Play with my balls? Because that's what literally they're asking me to do. To just sit down there and be in front of them. And that's it. That is literally the least that they want me to do. To just be in front of them 24-7. So that they could quote-unquote feel like they have children by their side. And they talk to me about sad. It is so stupid. Yet, like, cannot be avoided. Because they're literally my only freaking parents. Yeah. So much for a decent family. But, the whole moral of this is that at least I'm not doing shit. Then at least I'm not subjected to much depression. But honestly, I can't even tell if I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna ever be okay after all of that. I mean, I literally went through a lot of shit so that. I could literally get my ass into Saudi Arabia. And what happened at the end, its registration for education time had been closed very much earlier before we had even arrived. Which is really fucked up at this point. Yeah. I mean, I know we can't do anything about it, but really? Things like that actually exist? I was never, I was never prepared for it, nor I was even given any info about it. So, yeah. It is how things have became sadly. And most of the time, I don't even know if everything that is related to if Sailor Moon stuff is going to work for me anymore. Like, I can barely feel any kind of recovery. Like, literally. Whenever I look, whenever I was looking at that one GIF uh, wallpaper of just internal Sailor Moon smiling at the screen. It pretty much doesn't work anymore. And then I have this lock screen wallpaper, but it's just the original five. The original five 
girls in in an art style that is almost too similar to one of the earlier episodes of the 90s and yeah it pretty much doesn't work Even and even before that whole thing, it didn't work. <sighs> yeah, this is what literally happens when depression just hits you. You lose hype, you lose excitement, you lose what it means to be comforted by the smallest thing, whether it's a picture, a freaking. A freaking song, anything. You just lose that meaning pretty fast, you know. And honestly, I'm not surprised as much that this kind of thing happens. But, yikes. Like, literally, yikes. Well, right now, I am old. I literally woke up a bit too late. Was, of course, lots and lots of daydreams while my eyes are closed. That almost don't make uh, this much sense. And yet, what can we do? Once again, it's just going to be me trying to figure out what in the world do I do? What am I supposed to distract myself with? And, well, I'm going to try my best to just melt my freaking brain away. With everything that's uh, possible, you know. And yeah, I don't really know what. I don't really know what to do that much. I'm still waiting for news from Dad about one of those two online universities. And if all fails, if all else fails and I have to stick to my current university and just stick my ass into to it and get the hell back to Egypt on the day of the exams and whatsoever, then there's nothing that I can do about it. Like, so be it. Like, if I'm not meant to be able to change my major, then so be it. I know not a lot of people have their majors and they succeeded or whatsoever, but... Honestly, for me, uh, education just can't work for me. Yet I can't skip it, or else I'm going to have to be taken in by the army and serve in it for at least two years. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, imagine literally forcing someone to serve in, in the army after you finish your education. Like, isn't it enough that you have to search for a job? On and whatsoever after you finish education oh well yeah Egyptian fucking rules they make you want to fucking claw your ass out mm. 
and who knows I might literally get myself into more brain rot with memes like hell even character AI chatting and its alternatives they almost like don't work for me anymore like don't get me wrong the concept and the app itself and the alternatives of whatsoever was pretty good like it's a pretty good thing that literally just takes a it literally just distract and gets me away from all the role playing shit that I used to get from Twitter yeah and like at this point I really I really don't even know what the hell could literally make me even happy anymore aside of just being able to sit down and at least just look at the ceiling listen to the song just be alone yeah it is that face of life where you're not as hyped or as excited for stuff anymore and this is a part of giving in to reality and being mature because hype and excitement and whatsoever has now became old fashioned pretty much an old fashioned and who knows what it could do to you you know as a person And of course, again, as I've said like yesterday or two days ago, the mentally strong people, if you are mentally strong in this world, then you are highly privileged and you pretty much don't need anything else like money, uh, freaking like wealth money freaking positions that make you make you feel good or anything you don't really need anything you just need your your mental power so that you could get through pretty much everything so yeah it is that face of life. It is that kind of face of life. But, uh, what can you do? Yeah, what can you do? Life really sucks this bad. Well, aside of all this, I'm slowly, you know, beginning to feel okay. And who knows what I'm going to be doing once again. I got woke up with the notification of one of the old friends that has been there. One of the old quote-unquote friends that's been ignoring me. Uh, have decided to come back to me. And frankly, my policy is that if you're going to ignore me and not be there for me and not going to care about me like how you used to, then you're getting fucking left. If they decide to come back at some point, then welcome the fuck back to them. At least on the social media. Yeah. I am that goddamn crazy about this, but... Like, come on. I'm being... I was ignored and... Have people change characters at me. So 
So why even bother? Why even bother having them on my friends list? Oh well. In any case, uh, yeah. Like, it is that kind of point of life. I mean, it, there's nothing that can be done this much about it. But yeah. But yeah. Um, things are, things are very slowly getting to be not better, but at least decent. And gotta hope that I can, that I can like get out of that situation and, you know, get this thing over with and so that I can prepare myself mentally and be at comfort that there is well something to look forward to and to prepare myself for mentally so that like you know I do not fall the fuck over Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I'm just slowly, like very, very, very slowly recovering. To the point where right now I'm feeling a little bit, you know, much normal than before. Yeah. Like, at this point, I really don't have much to say right now. I don't really have much to say than, you know, hopefully the days will become marginally better. And hopefully I can rest easy and everything will get back to normal. And, you know, I could be able to do everything that I do in a better way. And that one day, my life could turn around and become the best that it is. <sighs> yeah. And to eventually be able to actually smile once more yeah it's a crazy world out there it's a crazy and confusing world you know like one time you're marginally having the best time the next thing you know you're presented with the worst freaking outcomes. One time you're relaxing so peacefully, not even smiling, not being angry, just being normal. But uh, then one thing just comes in and blows entirely out of proportion at your face, whether it's online or in real life. Like literally three days ago, when I have watched that one Etika video, I've been I reminded myself that there was another mistake in my life that I shouldn't have gotten myself into, which was social media. And and literally, it was a huge mistake. And yet, right now, I'm practically stuck into it. 
Yeah. But nowadays, I can safely say that I've been doing marginally better on social media than I was before. As long as I avoid getting myself into new servers or expanding my my own territory of interactions and friends into, you know, getting myself to follow new people, join new group chats, join new places, you know. As long as I avoid doing all of this, and I still avoiding on doing all of this, I'll be safe. And especially since that I'm now into Sarah Moon, it is a very dangerous situation. Like if I get into a Discord server that's about Sailor Moon, it is practically over. Or if I showed interest and followed role players for Sailor Moon, it is practically being in a danger zone. Because role playing on Twitter is that bad. It is so bad that it's gonna bring you similar freaking traumas into you know, similar freaking traumas as being traumatized by your parents or anything. Yeah. So those who haven't been role playing at all on social media, stay the fuck away from it. And just roll and just role play in the character AI apps and its alternatives. Literally. It'll be much, much better for you. Really. Really. Like especially if you are a non role play account, you'll be fucking outcasted by default. used to make me feel better, yet it eventually fucked me up. But that was all in the past. Now there are like other things that have fucked me up. And literally I'm just trying to recover from it. Just slowly recovering myself. And and hopefully one day I can completely be recovered and be off my feet again and, and be able to be prepared for whatever the hell that will come to me, you know, like being accepted in an online university or having to move to Egypt and live with my uncle or having, or could stay in there, but I have to stick into my freaking, uh, I have to stick into my freaking current university and major. Yeah. It is crazy. It is that crazy. And yet, uh, what could we do? What could we do? <sighs> yeah. Education. I've said it once and I'm going to say it as many times as long as I live. Education can literally go fuck itself. And people and everywhere else are very lucky. To have a choice on whether they would skip education or they would literally just continue on with their lives. Like the only times that we, we literally need education is when we are kids 
all the way to, you know, 11 years old or something. Anything else that is beyond, any any other age that is be further beyond is where we literally don't need it. Unless it, unless we're actually being taught on stuff that are actually going to help us in real life and whatsoever, education, once again, can go fuck itself to hell. So, uh, yeah. And here's to hopefully being able to continue with my life and to hopefully be able to, you know, to be able to progress through it peacefully and hopefully no more of the Paris shenanigans would come at me. Yeah. But the long story short of this is that I'm slowly recovering. I've been slowly recovering. And here's to hoping that I can recover a little more and be better than I was the pretty much every other day. Oh well, that's pretty much about it. It's right now 3 and 10 p.m. And hopefully the day goes marginally better, like much better, and things would become pretty good, and that'll be about it, that'll be pretty much about it.